We're going to talk about the basics of the middle block. What we find is most of the time, people will step forward and they'll swing it from their elbow. They want to add power to it, they'll twist their body and snap it out. Unfortunately, this really does not work in this way. Okay. In order to test this, have your partner hold his arm, make a fist, and have his arm outstretched. His goal is to prevent you from pushing his arm to the outside. If you do your standard block, you'll notice that if the elbow is outside, it's impossible to move him. What has to occur is the elbow has to be positioned on in the inside, and then he will move. What you may not notice initially is, yes, my elbow is positioned on the inside, but I'm not pushing with my arm. I'm twisting from the waist in order to affect that. So again, if the elbow is on the outside, the block fails. Bring the elbow to the inside, twist from the waist, and it's effort. To show it from the other side, to help with the clarity, the normal block people do works this way, swinging from the elbow. As long as that's occurring, and the elbow's on the outside, as I said, it's not going to move. The elbow has to come in to the inside, and again, powered from the waist. It makes the move almost effortless. The tendency is for everyone to twist in either direction and end up hitting with the bones on either side. This not only hurts, but this bone right here is extremely fragile and easily broken. Going against a powerful movement this way can damage yourself. All blocks should be hit double boned. The rotation comes after and it's for a different purpose. So the block then is not that, and it's not that. It's that with a twist to either direction at the end.